Hey, everybody, it's Tim Miller from The Bulwark. Uh, you know how Donald Trump has been trying to run away from Project 2025 as fast as he can. And they come up with this, pro I don't know what the hell it is, it's Project 25. He's involved in Project, and then they read some of the things, and they are extreme. I mean, they're seriously extreme. But I don't know anything about it. I don't want to know anything about it. Well, he ran into another problem with his VP pick, the least popular vice presidential pick in polling history, J.D. Vance. Not only does J.D. have negative charisma. <laughs> I love you guys. Not only does J.D. bring the baggage of having taken insanely extreme positions on a variety of women's issues. Vance has supported banning abortion with no exceptions for rape or incest. I think two wrongs don't make a right. At the end of the day, we're talking about an unborn baby. Not only does JD carry the baggage of clips of him making fun of childless cat ladies and making fun of women in a condescending way that is gonna repel uh, uh, voters in the suburbs. We're effectively run in this country via the Democrats, via, via our corporate oligarchs, by a bunch of childless cat ladies who are miserable at their own lives and the choices that they've made. And so they wanna make the rest of the country miserable too. On top of all that, JD Vance was caught red-handed, fully endorsing Project 2025 and the Heritage Foundation and the people behind it. Let me give you the backstory here on how this works. So Project 2025 is the project of the Heritage Foundation, the conservative think tank. That's run by a guy named Kevin Roberts, Dr. Kevin Roberts. PhDs like being called doctor. Dr. Kevin Roberts uh, is you know, this sort of whatever mastermind behind the pivot of the Trump party. He's, you know, said that he's trying to you know, kind of be the policy weight behind Trumpism. He has been vetting people to go into the Trump administration. They put this 900 plus page document full of insane and extreme policies together. And to go side by side with that, Kevin Roberts planned on writing a book. Uh, Roberts's book was originally going to be called Dawn's Early Light, Burning Down Washington to Save America. Maybe that appeals to some people, burning down Washington, but uh, feels a little extreme as a presidential platform. Uh, he updated the name of the book to Dawn's Early Light, Taking Back Washington to Save America. So here's the thing. So when you write a book, um, oftentimes a political book, you go and try to find somebody to write a foreword, explain to readers who might not have heard of Dr. Kevin Roberts, why they should listen to this person, why this person's ideas are good, you know, to be a validator. You're looking usually for somebody that's a little bit more famous than you, a little bit more accomplished than you, to kind of put their stamp of approval on it, help you move book units. So when Kevin Roberts was looking for somebody to endorse his book, to write the foreword, who did he turn to? But J.D. Vance. Here it is, J.D. Vance in blurbing the book that he wrote the foreword for. Never before has a figure with Robert's depth and stature within the American right tried to articulate a genuinely new future for conservatism. We are now all realizing that it's time to circle the wagons and load the muskets. In the fights that lay ahead, these ideas are the essential weapon. These ideas are the essential weapon. There it is, right there in print. J.D. Vance saying that the man, the architect of Project 2025, who's putting out a, a book that's ideas are in concert with the ideas that are in Project 2025, not only does he fully endorse those ideas, but he says that they're the essential weapon in the fight for the new future for conservatism in the country. Uh, so it's pretty hard to walk away from that. It's pretty hard to walk away from that. I guess when J.D. wrote the foreword, I guess he didn't realize that his new boss, Donald Trump, was going to pretend like he didn't like these ideas to be politically expedient. Dang. Dang. Not a lot of foresight there uh, for J.D. This was going to be a problem with Trump no matter what, of course. His staffers are all over Project 2025. If you're a Bulwark podcast listener, you've seen my The Right Stuff segment with Johnny McEntee, who was called Trump's deputy president in the first term. And Johnny has been just all over Project 2025, interviews talking about it, talking about their plans to staff the government with cronies, talking about how it's a blueprint for the next Trump administration. So, you know, there are a lot of ties, a lot of connections, but I don't think there's one that is quite as clear and direct 
as Trump's own vice presidential choice, writing the foreword for the book that summarizes, that depicts, you know, what the plans are for the people behind Project 2025. So, you caught, J.D., Donald's going to be really sick of you, bro. I think Donald's going to be really sick of you by the end of this thing because it's been all trouble and no value since JD was brought along to the ticket. And I don't see that changing anytime soon. All right. Subscribe to the feed. Uh, Appreciate you. We'll see you soon.